Welcome to the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue Rehabilitation Center located in Surf City, North Carolina. Here is our founder, Jean Beasley, who started working with sea turtles on our beaches of Topsail Island in the 90s with her daughter, Karen. The Topsail Turtle Project began and continued to grow, from the original 900-foot garage to the large operation we have today. To date, we have helped over 1,500 turtles. Our mission is to rescue, rehab, and release as many sick and injured sea turtles as possible. Public outreach is very important to us and something we get to do with tours of our facility. Our tours are a way to educate the public not only about sea turtles but on the importance of their conservation. Visitors also get to take a look at our patients while learning their process of recovery, as well as finding some cool items in our gift shop. We also host student interns from UNC Wilmington giving them an excellent hands-on experience. They get the opportunity to do many things around the hospital such as lead tours, clean tanks, prepare the food for our patients, and more. Here's the carapace that some of our interns are learning how to preserve. Welcome to our kitchen. This is where we prepare all of the food for our sea turtle patients. If there are two things we do a lot of around here, it's preparing fish and doing laundry. Their diets consist of a variety of things such as protein packed capelin and restaurant grade squid. We also have a whole fridge dedicated to veggies for our green sea turtles. We closely monitor and document what our patients are eating. Our turtles also receive supplements such as calcium and multivitamins in their fish for added nutrition. Another fun fact is that we save the scraps, such as the heads and tails of fish, and send it to a local bird rescue to be used. Here is one of our patients, Belle, eating her calcium pill, as well as Cheesy G enjoying some lettuce. Our patients are here for a variety of reasons. First, take Sepia, a loggerhead who came to us in January due to cold stunning. It was also noted that she had a previous injury from a boat strike that healed in the wild. Here she is during a water change. Cold sending is a common reason why we receive patients in the winter. Due to the sea turtles being ectothermic, they cannot regulate their own body temperature. When the water gets too cold, their body begins to shut down, leading to pneumonia or osteoarthritis. In the warmer seasons, we often see bow strikes and fish hook turtles. Here is one of our green sea turtle patients, Canal, swimming around in our therapy pool, which simulates the currents of the ocean as well as Cheesy G and Key Lime get in a swim in in the therapy pool. Our goal is to release as many turtles as possible. On Topsail Island, our nesting season begins on May 1st. The Topsail Turtle Project volunteers are responsible for monitoring the 26 miles of our beaches for nest tracks. Once a nest is found, it's marked to protect it from both humans and predators. Last year, we had over 100 nests, meaning approximately 1,200 eggs. Thank you for the opportunity to share a glimpse of what we do at the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center and on the beach with the Topsail Turtle Project.